Everybody loves a Benji. Hey, today I'm going to tell you what I think of ABS plastic from Amazon Basics. It's not the cheapest stuff you can buy, but it's pretty darn close. Now, is it too basic? Let's find out. Now, I had doubts on whether or not this was actually ABS. And one trick to find out whether a plastic's ABS is, first of all, if you give it a bend. A lot of people say if you bend ABS, you'll get white, which I do get on this. But I find that you can get white on other plastics when you bend them. So I don't think that's a really good way of testing. But if you take some acetone that you can buy at your local hardware store or probably other places and take parts of ABS, whether you cut them directly off of a spool or if you use parts from your build plate, such as a brim or, or something similar when you build, it will dissolve readily and kind of turn into a little bit of a goo. So that goo is basically chemically melted ABS. Now, there's a good thing for that. One is, I have no doubt that this plastic is truly ABS, which is great for the price. Uh, and two, that is usable concoction. If you're having trouble printing with ABS, that goo, which is about 75% ABS snippets or parts or pieces, whatever the small particles you can get, cut them up with some snippers, and 25 to 30% uh, of the acetone in a container that's safe for acetone, obviously not made of ABS, it will go ahead and dissolve and it'll make you kind of a little bit of a slurry. That slurry you can use on your build plate to go ahead and print your ABS. The acetone will evaporate and you basically have a glue of ABS to stick your ABS to. And ABS sticks pretty well to itself. So I printed a couple of benchies. These benchies, benchies, um, came out pretty well. I mean, I didn't do anything special with my specs uh, on my Cure Slicer. Um, I did on this one. This was not a failed print. I actually ran out of filament. I was cutting filament off the spool, feeding it directly into the printer, and I missed it by about a meter, uh, maybe a little bit less. But it did give me a good opportunity to be able to look at the detail both outside and inside this Benchy because there's a lot of detail to be seen inside of a Benchy. If you look closely at this print, you can see some fine details in the steering wheel as well as the rest of the hull. Overhangs were good and overall the quality was very nice for what I had. I simply use a glass build plate that I purchased on Amazon as well. Now I purchased this a few years ago, uh, well actually probably two years ago. And they're not available. This particular one's not available anymore. But glass build surfaces are all over the place. There are multiple build surfaces you can use for ABS. Glass is just one I use because I use it for everything pretty much. If you are using glass, I suggest you try getting some Magigoo. Now Magigoo is the magic goo, if you will, that you can put on your build surface to allow products that kind of tend to warp or pull up from your bed, have poor bed adhesion to actually stick to your bed. That being said, takes a little bit this will last me years well worth the investment all of my printing was done on my ender 5 with the micro swiss hot end and a direct drive mechanism i do have my own bowden tube set up for my multiple spools that come down to my printer amazon basics abs comes in a standard box and the first thing i did note is out of the two that i received um one was made in the USA, which is my black, and one is from the Netherlands. So a lot of companies, especially big companies, will purchase from manufacturers, whoever will give them the best deal on a product. Uh, I have to assume that is probably what happened here. I don't know directly who is manufacturing the ABS for Amazon in the US, and I don't know who's making it for them in the Netherlands. I will tell you that both of them form similar. Hey, before we get too deep in this video, I want you to visit me at buildabasement.com, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and smash that bell so you get notified whenever I drop new videos. So if you're interested in purchasing this ABS plastic on Amazon, I do have a link down below, but basically it comes in either an assorted color pack currently, black, blue, a gray, a red, and a clear or white, something like that. Um, I personally got the black and the blue and they look fantastic. 
So all in all, I'm really impressed with this Amazon Basics ABS plastic. Um, I don't have anything to complain about it for what it is. Again, ABS does have its inherent risk using it, such as the sirene fumes that come off of it. Other than that, I love it. ABS is a great plastic. If you haven't tried ABS, you should. ABS is probably a gateway plastic to other plastics such as nylon and polycarbonate. Polycarbonate, that's an awesome plastic as well. If you want something that is pretty much bulletproof, polycarbonate's the way to go. As a side note on this purchase, I also picked up these filament bags. Now I gotta say, they work okay. I had one bag that I did about 24 hours ago that is still sealed up nice. Unfortunately, another bag failed within minutes. I could hear air leaking into it. But for the price for 10 bags, I think it was about $13, not a bad deal if you want to keep your filament nice and dry. Hey, before I forget about it, I want to thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I got tons of content about a Voron printer build I'm doing currently, and I want to invite you to go ahead and check out those videos. On top of all that, you can email me at kerm at builditbasement.com. You can visit me on Twitter. You can visit me on Patreon. You can visit me on Facebook, or you can visit my website, builditbasement.com. Check out my other videos. Stick around. Watch what you want. Maybe you'll find something helpful. Appreciate you stopping by.